in this video i will discuss the poem fire and ice which has come from the golden pen of one of my favorite poets that's robert frost all right guys and this video i have made for class 10th students and before we discuss this poem one thing you should keep in mind first of all you should know a little bit about the poet so if we talk about robert frost he is an american poet all right and you should know the ideology of the poet also because if you know the ideology of the poet it will be very easier for you to answer value based questions which are set in the examination and you will go in the same direction where the examiner wants to and where the poet wants to take you in all right guys so uh, if you talk about the ideology or the themes that are chosen by Mr. Frost, first, he is known for his realistic description of rural life. All right, and if we, if I talk about the themes, he chooses complex themes. Yes, simple things are really very complex. And if you remember, I have already discussed one of uh, Mr. Frost's point that's road not taken. Here he has also taken very simple, very simple theme, but it's really very complex. Taking a decision, it's really very difficult. All right, so all the simple things don't consider them they are very simple right and social the, the themes which I am wrestling with in my day-to-day -day life and philosophical extremely philosophical and what is philosophy when you when you discuss life when you discuss the science of life that is called philosophy because in life we have ample options what to choose that is complex all right guys let's discuss the poem according to the lines through this poem what the poem wants to convey us and he is leaving one question for us how will the world patch how will the world end so let's discuss some say the world will end in fire from what I have tasted of desire some people are in the opinion that this world will end with anger Yes, this is truth. Because whenever we are angry, we are fighting. And when we are fighting, right? When we are fighting, the destruction is of both sides, not of one side. The winner as well as the loser. So if you remember the war of Kalinga, in which Ashoka was the winner, though he had won, but when he had gone out to see how much destruction had been done, right? At that moment, he bitterly cried, right? The huge blood shed was done, right? So anger. When I am angry, I am losing the, my logical sense. I am los losing the power of my brain. And we all know that brain is the most logical organ in my body, right? Um, another thing is hate. When we hate each other also, it will also lead to anger. And whenever we are angry, we will fight. Okay. I hold with those favorite fire, but if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of it to say that for destruction eyes. The second power, which can also destroy this world, eyes. Eyes symbolizes my desires. Lord Buddha, right, also says this, your desires are the cause of your pains. Desires those are burning in me right they can be the cause of our destruction also and ice ice also uh, tells us the rigidity right and another thing is that ice ice means chillness right means emotionless when a human will become emotionless he won't have emotions for others and he can do ill of anybody all right guys Alright guys, so let's discuss the theme of this poem through this poem, what the poet wants to convey us. The first thing is that anger, hate, lust and desire. They are the negative forces. Alright guys, and we should try to control these negative forces. We have to overcome these negative forces. If I don't overcome the negative forces, then definitely my end is not very far. Alright, so if we discuss fire means burning if there is fire right it will burn all the trees of the earth if all the trees are burnt 
there will be no oxygen and the amount of carbon die will increase so if it increases right all will die all right guys and this is a scientific fact ice ice will decompose everything and if everything is going to be decomposed then also we will all die so the moral of this poem is that make your mind your servant do not let it be your master because servant is following your commands and the master is giving you commands right if your brain or if your mind is your servant then you are in the control of positive powers you have to overcome negative powers all right guys so that's end of the video thank you guys for watching my video all right guys and please press the bell icon and don't forget to subscribe my channel